Did for Chad's presidential election draws nearer, political parties are upping their game in the hunt for votes. In the midst of the campaigns, the parties, keen on capturing every vote available, have embarked on a voter education exercise. Noticeably taking the lead on this has been the coalition supporting the interim president, Mahamati Driss Debi, known as Chad Uni, or for a united Chad. The coalition has launched an intense voter education initiative, and Jemena, which hosts about one million voters, has been a rich hunting ground. I can't say on camera how much money we have used, but we have invested a lot of resources, both financial and human resources, so that we can accomplish what we want. The coalition says it has employed about 7,000 people. Their task is simple, enlighten the electorate on how to vote, where to put the mark for their preferred candidate, and how to handle the ballot paper to ensure it is not spoiled. Last time we lost a lot of votes because majority of the people did not understand the process. Last elections we were using ink and it will drip to boxes belonging to other candidates. So we decided to use a pen this year because it is easier to use than ink. With just about a week to go before the polls, the educators have been traversing every part of the capital, braving the sweltering heat to meet the voters where they are. It is a gamble they hope will pay off. As Chad prepares for the presidential election, the ongoing voter education initiatives are empowering citizens and ensuring a well-informed electorate. They're also providing a platform for political parties to sell their manifestos more intimately to the voters. Penina Kariba, CGTN, in Jamena, Chad.